Are we there? Hello, hello, and welcome! I am Nick, and I am now virtual! <laughs> um, yeah, we're trying something different tonight. Uh, I am here in the virtual. Uh, that is why I'm not on camera, but you can see I have been digitized uh, by my new avatar. Um, and tonight, uh, I like Euro Truck 2, because here's the thing you can do. Uh, you can set the weather to always be rainy and always be night and then just forever be in a box in the rain in the night. And it's possibly my favorite thing in the world. Um, so for tonight's drive stream, we're just going to do some of that. And you're going to come along with me. And I'm going to try not to swivel my head too quickly and make everybody sick, but no promises. Um, as you can see here, I have no idea which save this is picking up. But apparently I uh, am this redhead and we work for the company Trucks. Um... Also, uh, I did not set up anything to be able to read the chat in VR, so I have my producer, Joe, over here on the side uh, to read chat and uh, convey everything to me. That's your cue to say hi? I was trying to. Yeah, we're, we're getting used to push to talk. It wasn't working. Hello, I am here too. And uh, I have, she is also a volunteer to be digitized. So, okay, I have put the headphones on. I am now all in the VR. So even if you need my attention, use Discord. Got it? I thumbs up you. I have no idea if you're doing it back. Work with me here. I'm trying to prove the system works. Ugh. All right, don't play along. All right, I see how it is. Oh my god, and then you didn't say that on Discord. <laughs> Okay, let's, um, you know, it's a good thing I have the mouse. Some things about Eurotrunk are jank. Things about Eurotrunk and VR, Eurotrunk and VR are extra jank. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't have a truck to drive. We're going to take a quick job. Quick job gives me, uh, I'm just going to sort by the longest. I take that back. Uh, yeah, no, the longest. Where do we want to go? We want to go from the Netherlands to Germany? Oh, let's go to Luxembourg. It's the size of Luxembourg. Uh, Rotterdam to Carlisle, Amsterdam to Bremen. Bremen is Dutch. I guess we're in the Netherlands, because that's where all of our from jobs seem to be. Oh, we could just stay in the UK. Okay. Uh, Rotterdam to Newcastle. Oh, you want to take a boat? Let's Let's take a boat. Okay. Okay. Mm, taking metal beams. Okay, that's wipers. That's lights. That's engine power. Okay. I need to figure out how to move this thing. Um, how do I move this thing? Uh, where's my keyboard? Here's my keyboard. Oh, I'm so... Okay. Uh, if I hit F5? No. Okay, if I hit F... Oh! That doesn't feel right. I don't want to control it. I want to move it. Current job. There's a... Oh. <sighs> Toggle side mirrors. Uh, nah, I want only real stuff. Oh! Okay, I can make it go away. That's pretty good. Adjust mirrors, adjust seats, adjust lights. Okay. Okay, I can F3 to make it go away. Alright, somebody remember F3. Uh, that's not bad. Now I can see my gauges through it. Alright, now we're in, like, nighttime mode. Here, here we go. Uh. Shoot. I'm already going the wrong way. I already hit something. Oh my gosh. I need this steering wheel to steer a little faster. Yeah, I went through a red light. 
That's the price of doing business, baby. Uh, wipers. Board. Shoot. There. Okay. All right. Now we're going. No, we're not. I just turned into a different lumber yard. Oh my god. Sorry, folks. These are growing pains. I need a little more steering in my jeering, you know what I mean? Yeah, and says higher. Who said that? You could at. Oh, hey, what's going on? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Let me know if I'm making anybody sick. I'm trying not to be. Oh, God, I gotta turn this puppy around. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of some other company's parking lot. Oh, nobody's coming. This right. It is hella dark out. Europort? Probably that, right? Because we're taking the boat to... <sighs> okay. Highway mode. You should have just made your avatar the back of your head so it would look like you were driving. I mean, I would love to make an avatar of somebody sitting in that chair over there. Okay, are we going? Are we going? You know what I don't need? I don't need this in my face. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we just in here. Look at all the headspace I have. I love this. Oh, all right. How's everybody? Uh, how's everybody doing out there tonight? Uh, let me know if anything seems to not be working. Um, those of you who were here a little while ago, watch us going through the tech test. Um, and honestly, I'm surprised it's going this well so far. Hey, little guy. Sure you want to be there? You sure you want to be between us two big boys? I'm sitting in the chair a little bit. Oh, I'll slide my real chair forward. How about that? Oh, okay. I also love how my avatar plays... Keep dropping out for some reason. Like I got like the first half of that last message. Oh, uh, I switched to my phone. Oh. Ah. It's easier to use, but if I keep popping out, then I'll switch back. Okay. Oh, this truck engine isn't gonna like me. Oh, come on. Okay. What I said was that I like how I come in from the left side because it looks like I'm just sticking my head in the driver's side window. <laughs> oh. uh, where's my gears? What gear am I in? There, that's my gears. Go here. And then we're going... Oh, we want to go to that one, don't we? 11 hour boat trip. It's daytime now. Uh, that's off. Right? Why did they park me on the boat backwards? Oh no! Hey, there it is. We going out to the left. Okay. Oh right. 
We're on the other side of the pond now, so left hand driving. Lucky. Oh. Does it look to anybody else like we're lurching down the road? I feel like this going with the point of traffic circles. Oh, which way? This way. Going to go to Grimsby. Oops. I definitely considered like being a trucker in real life, uh, I don't think I'd actually be good at it because that's like a, um, I don't have like a patience for traffic or anything like that, um, nor do I really enjoy traveling and being away from home constantly. I need to like be at my, my home base basically nightly, like even honestly like for me the best vacation is to just stay home and not to like go somewhere because if I go somewhere I'm away from home which means I'm anxious which means I'm not relaxing which means I uh, kind of missed the point of having a vacation um, but also I'm actually uh, disqualified from being a truck driver now uh, because I was diagnosed with sleep apnea Apparently that just straight up disqualifies you. Who knew? <sighs> Wait, where did he go? Am I in the wrong? Or is it the children who are wrong? I'm going. I hope I didn't miss a turn off yet. I'm not used to actually having to look down for the GPS or the gauges or. Listen, it's very immersive in that I'm forgetting that I need to pay attention to everything around me. It's not spoon feeding me shift timings and checkpoints and all of that, which I love. I love that. Actually, I love that. Um, no, I kind of need to go from over here. No, we good. We good. Newcastle or Sheffield? Yeah, I guess we're taking one of those. Nope. Oh, come on. It's not even my truck. Oh, we're getting off here. Oh, my dude! You better not stop down here or we're both dead. Okay. Oh, we're going to Edinburgh. Left, right, left hand. Oh, there's like people in there. Very low resolution people. What if I just, what if I just sit sideways? This is forward now. What if I just sit over here? I don't know. This is, um, I tried at one point doing this and being like, oh, you need a, a co pilot or something like this, right? Um, you know, somebody to make sure that the conversation stays interesting, but no, my brand is rambling by myself. That's fine. I suppose that's fine. Let's be real. I was just interested just in getting let it time. loose, let it flow. Uh, no, I, I went to the bathroom before the stream. I mean, before I was digitized. If you get digitized while you have to go to the bathroom, then you have to you have the feeling that you have to pee forever. 
Yeah, it was nice out here. Either way, you're streaming. Go to jail. Go to jail for that one. <laughs> Alright, I need you to hit the hotkey that'll put you in jail. I should set up a hotkey for that. Actually, that's going to be... um. The next thing I need to play with is... Uh, point redemptions that can, like, activate... Uh, uh, objects and scenes and filters in OBS. Silly stuff like that. So that's a lot of power to give the viewers. Yeah, I know, but yeah, you know what? I, for anybody who saw that um, chunky horse? No. Chicken horse. Wow. Um, that chicken horse stream the other week. You know I'm a fan of giving people the ability to create their own hell to live in. Uh, so that's really my goal with the stream. It's just like, honestly, if all I have to do is sit there and y'all make it miserable for yourselves, then that, that's, you've already done more than half my job. What an idyllic European countryside. British countryside? Hmm. My idyllic alien home world. Oh god, I need to go on the far side because we're in Britain. Oh god. Oh god, no, we can't all be using this junction. Oh, my dude, are you good? Alright, that's all mine. Good over there, we're good over there. I love the challenge of driving something so dumb big but it's kind of like um what is it they asked like soldiers in Afghanistan and they were like like oh what do you like to do in your free time and they're like oh we like to you know play games like Call of Duty and whatever and they're just like but you're doing military stuff all day why would you enjoy doing that and it's like oh well the difference is in the game when we get shot it doesn't hurt and same vibing? Like, yeah, you wanna know what I like about being a virtual trucker? I don't actually have to pay any of the, the fines for the speed cameras or anything. I can just be a bad trucker and have fun instead of be racked with anxiety and, you know, fear of failure. If you're really good, you can do both. Um, what? Uh, that's, you see if you consider it. I turn to look at the camera. I'm not even at that desk. Normally my camera's right there. Oh my god. I have muscle memory. I have hosting muscle memory at this point. I've been doing this too long. Quickly, give me a, uh, some index cards for me to tap on the desk. I can welcome my next guest. I don't do those kinds of shows! There's a game I have not played in years. Because uh, this was like in the era before itch and i'm kind of there's a lot of games in the area that i wish would just get like put on itch just for like archival purposes but um <clears throat> i think the game was just called tricky truck and it was hey you're driving a tractor trailer and uh you're gonna it's like but it was like okay you're driving a tractor trailer but also on a course that is basically like off-road and parkour and like super narrow cliff edges and stuff like that and it was it was like a, a big rig dexterity challenge uh i love that and it's part of why i wish um going straight here it's part of why i wish uh beam eventually puts in a vr mode uh is because the idea of doing big rig parkour in vr in something with uh let's say in something that models severe um, failure penalties. I think that's a way to describe how good the crashes in Beam are. Um, that would make people so motion sick. Yeah, that's why I want to do it. Oh, yeah, no, you get into a good enough crash and the camera like goes through the metal of the car, it follows the uh, 
it just follows the spin as you do barrel rolls. Yeah, no, it would make people sick. That's not... That would be like a content warning entire stream do not watch i am in, i am i make poor decisions for my own amusement you know i want to drive that thing look it's empty it can carry cars how many cars can you drive at once king of cars again i haven't missed my turn off yet have i i am just hauling ass now though how many how many trucks does that cost I'm probably breaking the limit uh, let's see here. This says the limit is 97, and we're doing over 100. Or just about 100. Ooh, that's close. Oh, does this truck have a limiter on? Oh, can I go turn it off? I want to flip over. What if I flipped over? What if I had fun and flipped over? Do at least... Like, one success... Before the nonsense occurs. I guess. Well, all right. I guess the limiter isn't on. Ooh, ooh. What were you saying about nonsense? I spoke too soon. Oh, I did not. I pointed with my hand as though we could see it, but I didn't know that that was a, uh, a sunroof. I thought it was like a storage hatch. Uh, so this is us. Oh, what do you do? You completely jumped it. I remember passing you before. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Oh, oh, that doesn't feel good. Um, oh, yeah, this is somewhere else. That's me. I don't think that's the person in the the portrait. Where am I now? Engine malfunction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you hit. F1, and you say call, uh, tow service. Is what you do, is you get a tow. I mean, I got ten of them, so nine left. To repair or upgrade? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. Hit this again be like hey how's our trailer doing okay all right let's get back on the road spirit cafe says i love the ping tuber also hello hello yeah i made it special i i got myself digitized uh, i do need to fix the truck now uh service make it go engine that's fine that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Pairs are covered by our employer. Good. They're going to hate us. All right. Okay. Now, start it. Wait, who's talking about tow service? Okay, now we're going. Let's see if we can finish this trip. Okay, hey, put us in the town we were trying to get to. Oh, that was us a minute ago. Oh! Keep forgetting we're in Britain. Crash vehicle? I didn't. Oh, I did hit somebody. Uh oh, this is a traffic circle. Does that make me a traffic circle jerk? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I was. I was. Waiting for the confirmation. Here we go. Uh, first gear. Oh, we're going backwards. Don't go backwards. Okay. And now my favorite part is we park it ourselves. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
Do you get more points for doing it yourself? Yes. I was hitting the wrong button to shift up. What? No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. something easy. There, park, and detach. Done. How'd we do? We did excellent. Believe it or not. Is Nick using the wheel setup? I am not. I uh, am actually using a gamepad today. Um, I kind of wish I was using it, but I didn't want to put too much tech in at once or I would have, uh, sort of, um, overpressured myself out of actually playing the game tonight. Uh, let's take a quick job. Uh, hey producer, can you do me a favor? Can you turn on this big fan? Because I am sweating this storm already. Y'all, please excuse if there's a noise, which there's probably going to be, but I need it now. All right, here's what you actually search for. You search for price per distance. Um, because you get, like, some mid-tier. Um. Oh, that is so much better. Thank you. Oh, gosh. See, it's also kind of weird because it's, wait. Price per distance descending, so like you don't always get a lot, but you get yeah, something like this should be okay. Something like this should be okay, but like I said, I need more sensitivity on my steering. Um, let's go to the options. Controls, steering non-linearity. I want that high or low. Let's turn this up, and let's also turn this up. Let's go like this, right? Okay, that that should do fine. Okay. Uh, ooh. So, because we're taking quick jobs, uh, they supply us with a truck, which means basically every run gets you a different truck. Um, what are we carrying? Mm, this one's red. Oh my god, it's a boat. That's a whole ass boat. Okay. Mm. Oh, look at that. Now I know exactly what gear I'm in. Uh, shoot, this one doesn't have an in-gash dash. Navigatron. So I do. Whoops. I do need this up. Okay. Can't go right. I had no idea if I should needed to be on the left or right hand side. We're already over the limit. Here's the thing though, here's the secret, and even worse, real life basically works this way too. Um, if you go, if you deliver early enough, you get an early delivery bonus. And the thing is, early delivery bonus more than makes up for however much money you lose in speeding tickets, in traffic tickets on the way there. Oh, okay. We're fine. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, it's my nose, my nose is already too far out. It's gonna let me go then. 
Sorry, amigo. I am a fat truck. Okay. Oh, with the fan on me, it feels like I got the window open. Like I'm, I'm having a nice breeze. Heck yeah, this is nice now. this feels for y'all because I'm finding I'm actually holding my head pretty still still but then like flicking my eyes around a lot to check for things my mouth is completely out of whack I bit my lip the other day so like there's one bit that's swollen and that's making me bite my tongue because things are out of place it's just I ain't doing well tonight I mean, that could be worse let's be real it could be worse there was a chance that we were going to black out earlier because of sudden severe storms, but that didn't happen. We're doing okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god, I just realized I've what I've done is I've reinvented Big Trouble in Little China. Um, headlight usage defense. Why would headlights be on? Um. So if y'all have any topics you want me to go on about in this impromptu trucker radio show, I've reinvented the wheel of. Does the GPS ever go away or is that stuck in your wheel? I can uh, manually turn it off. Um, I was like, in the last truck we were in, there was one in the dash, so I turned it off. This is the like uh, detailed view. And the thing is, um, it's not just a GPS, but it also has information about, like, uh, uh, your trailer sturdiness and, you know, distance and time spent and estimated arrival and, and all that good stuff. If you look right here, the fact that it has a very easy to read um, gear setting as well as your fuel and your sleepiness. Uh, do I need to get? No. Uh, this is not where I get off. Uh, Uh, but yeah, it's, and you can actually hear, uh, oh boy. So there's actually like a bunch of different, um, panels you can switch through to get different information. Um, no chat. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, when we're, and then I can just turn it off. Uh, and then there's full, which is a little more opaque. This is the more transparent. Which is nice because I can see my gauges pretty well through it. Uh, but I don't even need to see them right now. We are just cruising and it is quite nice. Not even anybody around us. I like it. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Uh, why are you, did you start your stream so late? Why are you going to put me on a spot like that? Oh, because I was watching a movie with friends up until like a quarter to nine, and then I looked at it and said like, oh, I said between nine and ten, and 9.30 is right in the middle there. I have time to get in a game or two of Rocket League. Um, and in order to finish my like season challenge checklist to get the, you know, season long prize, I only needed to complete one more thing, which was join a tournament. And I was like, listen, it doesn't say win, it just says join. So I'll, I'll get in there and then I'll just sandbag it and we'll be fine. Um, then we won the first match and I was like, oh, you know, that's not too surprising. Then we won the second match and I was just like, mm, uh, these people I'm playing with aren't quite good enough for that. That doesn't, this, this shouldn't have happened. And then we won the third match and I was like, okay, now this is just embarrassing for every other team in this tournament. And then we won the semifinals. And I was just like, no, this is wrong. I need to pee and I have a stream to start. Because at this point, it's a quarter to ten. Um, and then we get into the finals. And it's just like, no, no, this should not be. This is bending everything. You boys are not backpack size. I cannot carry this team the entire time. Man, it's a... Thank you very much. You've now set me on this path. Um, and you knew it would, didn't you? I heard the way you just mm-hmmed me. That was very knowing. That was like, yes, according to Keikaku. 
translator's note, mm -hmm, means Keikaku. Um, the way that game scores is odd. Because, like, it rewards being, like, overly aggressive and running after the ball and touching the ball as much as possible, even when on, like, a higher level strategy uh, sense. It doesn't make any sense. Spirit Cafe redeemed hydrate. Uh, well... Uh, I don't know what to do about that because I'm in VR and I thought about grabbing water and I uh listen if you want to give me a bottle of water I can I can try and make a mess of myself thank you I actually probably could use that like I said I was already sweating um the thing that is extremely important to like higher tier like, I don't even know how high, but like, even like mid-tier, like strong fundamental Rocket League play is um, teamwork and like zone coverage. But zone coverage means that like, it is actually very smart and very useful for one player to hang pretty far back and like mind the goal and, uh, you know, to, to be like a halfback and like oh in case you know the other team gets a lucky hit the backfield isn't just open and a free goal but like you're there to to cover if something unexpected happens um but what that means is that you know the, depending on on how good your team is at like cycling positions and cycling zone coverage or if just one person says this is my job this is what i'll do everybody else is better at shooting i'm gonna be here and and be the play the backfield like that's also fine like if you if your team is just like you know one one chaser one striker and one playing the backfield that's really strong honestly like that's you can get really far with you know like three specialists in that specific those specific specializations but the person playing the backfield is never going to get points because the only time they get points is if the front two mess up and like let things slip and like let things you know move to the back uh but like if they are playing their playing their position really well like or if everyone's playing their position well the backfield doesn't see a lot of action and that's good that means you're keeping the pressure on that's what you want to see uh but it means that they're never going to get interaction with the ball they're never going to get um shots on goal right um and like in terms of winning games having that security and having that like strong defense ready to go that wins you games um but it doesn't make you score high so when you do have a team comp like that what you end up it, with is like like one or two players who are scoring like magnitudes higher than your other player but the thing is if you didn't have that person playing the backfield you would probably lose the game so it's this weird thing of like no actually this thing that it's like super vital to have on your team does not get the immediate feedback rec recognition of just points. Um, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is all bad. I'm also in the wrong lane. Sorry to, sorry to both lanes of traffic, but I'm a boat. Um, <clears throat> and like a lot of times... I did put a bottle of water directly in above your keyboard, by the way. Okay, thank you. I'll get to that as soon as I round this corner. Um, but, like, honestly, like, if I'm in a game with two people who are just chronic ball chasers, you know, two people who just want to be the hero and have no thoughts other than that, just be like, I'm going to touch the ball, I'm going to get the shots. The more I touch the ball, the more shots I take, and the more shots I take, the more points I'm liable to get. And it's like, it's like you're not completely wrong, but there are ways for the enemy team to play against that and completely ruin that, and so uh, good, good job, you're, you're going to... Oh, global truck dealer just covered. You're probably going to have us lose the game because you're too, like, headstrong and not 
you know, you're you're play you think you're playing pinball when actually you're playing soccer, you know, and those are that's different. Um, I can't get this open with one hand. There's your hydrate. Traffic laws be damned. I don't want to hit the median. Oh, I can drive one-handed, that's fine. Spirit Cafe says, it's raining, just stick your head out the window to hydrate. Fair enough. Ooh, okay. Mm. What is it? You need to turn to stick your head out the window. Ah. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's just weird. So like, even so, I guess I'm vaguely in platinum tier, which it turns out is like barely the mid level of like the full set of tier rankings. Um, because it goes like. Yeah, you go Platinum, and then you go Diamond, and then you go Master, and then you go Double Master, and then you go, like, Champ Series or whatever. It's, you know, it's whatever. Um, double Master. Double Masters. Um, and then you go Super Master, which um, was what they were thinking of calling the Genesis. And then uh, Nintendo got to it first, and the rest is history. Blast processing sounds cooler, though. Just, like... As a historical fact, black processing sounds cooler. Um, I remember like when Doritos did 3D Doritos. Um, bring those back. I love, I love that. I love nonsense like that. What was I talking about? Yeah, Rocket League. But like, so there's this weird thing where like people like look at me in a game and they'll be like, hey. You know, you've got no points. Clearly, I'm carrying this team. You know, what are you even doing here? You're, why, you're not even, oh no, oh no. I'm a boat. Um, like pe people mistake like high points for value, which I mean, literally whoever gets the highest points on a winning team gets an MVP award and then MVP awards are tracked. Uh, by certain items. Listen, we can get into that on a Rocket League stream. Uh, but, um, hey, don't forget to redeem the hydrate next as soon as possible. My throat's already a little rough. I think it's going to be a short stream tonight. Um, what the heck is three Doritos? 3D Doritos. You're thinking of Los Caballeros. Sorry, I'm thinking of Los Caballeros. Wait, aren't Doritos already 3D? No! Oh, did you not know about these? Hey, remember in the 90s when gimmick snack foods were a thing? You remember purple ketchup? So, 3D Doritos were Doritos, but they puffed them up. So, like, you know the way that, like, Chex or Crispix are, like, kind of puffed? Like, like they're, they're sort of that, like inflated hexagonal yeah. crystalline format of, of rice. Yeah, they did that with Doritos and then covered it with the Doritos dust. And it was, it was like the way that, you know, if regular Doritos are crunchy cheese puffs, these were the puffy cheese puffs of Doritos. That sounds not so great. It was amazing. It was mostly a gimmick, but like as somebody who really likes stuff like Chex and like corn pops and popcorn, it had more of like a popcorn texture to it, but the Dorito flavor. I feel like that's also one of the rumors like every couple of years, it's just like, oh no, they're gonna bring back 3D Doritos. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of feel like uh, when corn product stuff gets puffed up, it's just, it changes the texture in a way that I don't really think is that great. You saying you don't like popcorn? No, not only like that, just like, because they're corn tortilla chips, right? Yeah, well, I don't think they take, like, the tortilla chips and puff them. 
Like, I, I don't know what the process is. Like, de like definitely think more like... Like, um... One of the other things... make ranch spicy? Well, you lie about what ranch is. Ranch has to be like... It has to be like a mixture of seasonings in there, right? If you leave out the dairy, then it wouldn't cut the spice. Or is 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 dairy and spices like a acids and bases thing? And like, if there's equal amounts of each, then they cancel each other out. But if you have more of one than the other, yo, it's really dark on this road. It's fine. Oh, the the estimated arrival is flickering. Because I, I'm going so fast that it keeps, like, going down. And it's just like, no, you're going to get there tomorrow, today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, today. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, That's where I need to go. That's where I'm going. I, I think you need a detour. <laughs> I salute the service of you heroes. <laughs> Beer Cafe says time to nap in VR. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, what are you doing? Uh, winning. <laughs> no, I don't. Let's not bring that up. Listen, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a boat. I didn't even take damage. I only got yelled at for bumping. But do you know how much time I just cut off by doing that? I would have wasted all the time I have already banked by constantly breaking the speed limit and going through red lights. Listen. Fair Cafe comments, imagine hitting a fire truck while a cop watches and only having to pay 180 pounds. Here's the thing, there were no cops there. Whoops. Do they just know? Um, I mean, maybe this is one of those GPS trucks where they track stuff like that? And use the accelerometer in my phone to register a, a collision. Cyberpunk real. Oh, you discovered Hanover. Congratulations. Yeah. So there is a sense of like, like open world exploration. There's a map completion percentage in this game, basically. Um, so like, before it was like, hey, you discovered a Volvo dealer, and thanks to that, I can now like check out that specific dealers like online listings when I go to buy my own truck. This game's kind of weird like that. Come on. Where do you need it? All right there. I'm gonna go. First, reverse. out that side that well. I'm sure it's fine. See it through that mirror yet?
Oh my god. I'm like one parking space to the left. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, now we see. Onions. Five hours. Long distance delivery, high value, fragile value, level five, level up. This is what this game is about. Leveling up. Ooh, up oh, skill points. Did you know this game's got skill points? Uh, what do we want? Long distance. So this lets us take further deliveries. High value. Uh, more reward for doing high value. Uh, fragile cargo. A higher reward for fragile cargo. Just in time delivery. Important deliveries unlocked. 3% uh, higher reward for that. Bonus experience for that. There's important and urgent. Uh, eco driving. Minimize fuel consumption. Okay. Or ADR, which is specific, like, um, hazardous material licenses. So if I want to start, if I want to be able to transport toxic and infectious substances, uh, class 6-1, poisons, uh, substances harmful to humans and health, for instance, potassium cyanide, mercuric chloride, or pesticides, or class 6.2, biohazard, Infectious material, virus cultures, use needles, etc. Uh, I could take that. Should I be a zombie driver? Uh, That's where Army of the Dead started. Mm-hmm. Um, I think long distance, because then we can explore more places, because we can get to further places. Uh, game time. That's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of real world time. Oh, yeah, I can check that this way. I think y'all see this? 41? Alright, let's do like one more. At least. Show me. Okay. Again, let's go root length. What's the furthest I can go without... See, I want to like... I want to go like over here somewhere. But I haven't discovered that place. Oh, so you can kind of see the, the like... The like puffy dots versus all the flat dots. Um, okay, so if I filter to Hanover, now we can see, okay, what starts in Hanover that then we can, like, branch out. Yeah, let's start making our way across. Here we go. Let's go to this one, and we'll go down to Erfurt. Don't let me pronounce things. We're going to get this nice blue truck. I've never been able to stop you before. Uh, are you sure you haven't just not tried hard enough? I'd ready myself, thank you. Okay, what are we looking at here? There, so the GPS is in the thing, so I'm actually gonna shut off the in-game one. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need lights. Oh, phone buttons? It's a Volvo! Oh, I actually love the way that this is banked towards me. I want my regular car to be like this. Oh, look at this step up. Oh, it's a sleeper bed! Yo, I can take a nap! Yo! Oh, this is fancy. I like this. Is that... Is that moonroof open? Am I getting rained on inside? That's cool. 
Um, all right, wipers. Uh, and let's go. Where are we going? Round and out to the left. Ah. And all the way around to the right. I do kind of appreciate how, like, all the gauges in every truck are different. Like, it is kind of a pain to, to like, have to interpret new ones every time, but at the same time, it's part of the fun, don't you think? Okay. Now we're on our way. It's night, it's raining. We're in a little box that has its own bed. This is my favorite place to be. Hi, I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite rain box on the Citadel. There we go. We really get out of the city. We lose all these lights. Get a speeding ticket. Oh, it's a red light ticket. got a blinky. I think that means he's a wide load? Oh yeah, he's pulling the cat. I'm, I'm gonna chill for a minute. This is just really pleasant. I love the noise in here. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Do you think there is a way to like overlay the chat in your VR headset? Oh, there absolutely is. I could mess with that right now and probably make it happen in a couple of minutes, but... Why? I don't know, I was just thinking how like, VR stuff is cool, but it like, puts up that barrier between like, you and the viewer. So it's I'm... very much more like, you performing and then the audience watching and not much is much interaction. I was supposed to take that exit. Okay, now kids, don't do this at home. This is extremely illegal. going the wrong way. Be 
period. I'm gonna have to find some way to cross that median eventually. At least now that I'm looking at oncoming traffic, the headlights will be easy to spot. So at least there's that. Yeah, I know. Listen, we got a long way to go before I can do anything about that, buddy. Yeah, uh-huh. Just rack them up, I'll pay them later. Put it on my tab. Oh, now I gotta do this in a tunnel, huh? Okay. You insist. I feel like doing this in VR, you also get a little more realistic eye strain. The way that lights in, in different sections hit you and pass over you and blind you in the middle of the night. I'm racking up a lot of penalties for going the wrong way, but I'm still making pretty decent time. Nope, that's a hit. No! So, uh... We're not in the wrong way uh, lane anymore. We're currently in no lane. Right here in the middle of everything. So how much does it take to get your license revoked? I feel like we're gonna find out soon. Oh, I can I can just This is supremely dramatic with the lightning though. Uh-huh. Oh, also like this camera in VR does not work, so it is actually going to give me a headache if I go this way for too long. Unless I hold my head perfectly still. You know, I jumped over that car. If I had 42%, wow. Oh, this is like front of bumper view, maybe? Oh no, there's just no truck in this view. Okay. Ah, engine malfunction. Good. I'm gonna call it a tow truck. If you don't mind. And mouse. Uh, hmm. Yep. Ooh. I'll be honest, I don't know if I have that. Okay, here's my Steam. Oh no, I'm still in the game. Oh, none of this is going to work. Uh, you know what? I'll mess with that. 
later. Okay. All right, well, we're here. Oh, the truck is so broken. Hey, fix it? Okay. Hey, I'm not paying for it. On goes. I could already put us into the town again. I can't stop the red lights. Don't you already know how supremely late I am? Sorry, I need to turn here. I'm a rude driver is what I am. Got it in one. Good work. All right, I got penalties. Oh, okay. Just a couple, just a little bit. All right, but now you've also got me curious. Um, let me escape VR for a no, I think I'd actually have to... Should I quit the game? Should I set this up? I'll play with it for next time. Uh, what do you think? One more? One more. Just take it past midnight. Uh, where else can we get to? We're in Erfurt. Uh, let's take pet food. How about we take pet food? We'll go to Frankfurt M Main. Um, time to bust out my main. Uh, and then maybe that'll. Oh, is that where Cologne is? In Dusseldorf and Duxburg. Um, woo! Oh, this one's a Renault? Okay. Another sleeper cab? Alright. God, look at this big hump between the seats. We could put a whole ass chessboard in between here. Oh, I love it. from the no-no zone. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Oh, these mirrors are too close in this truck. I don't like it. You know, I betcha, if you can remember where you're going, you could actually navigate just by the road signs. And then not even need the, the GPS. Oh, now that I've realized that that's like one of my next challenges going forward. Oh, then you could have like an actual map? Like I bet if we go to like the wiki, because like this is not real roads, this is their like condensed roadways version. weird like arrows are so weird because the only other game where I really remember seeing it like that is the burnout games and that sends the wrong vibe to my brain like, yeah you're on a highway but this part isn't real it's just like burnout it's like mm, I'm not supposed to crash in here I mean I do but I'm not supposed to ah yeah Frankfurt on Main all right well See how badly this goes. Drive by the signs. Frankfurt on me. Forward and right? Okay. Want to get off here? That is where we're going, right? Yeah, because you made the joke about bringing out your mean. Right. Alright, we're gonna see if I can actually trust these signs. I love this. I also just love driving without the screens in front of me, I'll be honest. Ooh, curtains. It's not even an RV, but it has curtains. Oh, well, yeah, you would sleep in here, so you need blackout curtains. Can I? Hey, do you think I could put. I leaned towards the window so I could see you. Do you think I could put blackout curtains in my Geo? Did the guy get in trouble for that? You could. I could. You was... should not. Mm, I never asked about should. <laughs> that was not part of the calculations. I don't see that why you're bringing it up. That was free advice. That's <laughs> oh. uh, still too much of a cost. At what cost? Oh, is that the joke when they say freedom at what cost? Because it's it's free, but it's not. Mm. I love the weather out here right now. Like it's, this feels like sort of right before sunup. So we get like a lot of the light, but it's, so overcast that like we don't really have shadows and oh, I just I just love it I just say what you will about how like all of the um, like environment graphics in this game are basically placeholder because that's all they have to be um, but there's a vibe in here this is a vibe right now, and I love it. I'm sure it actually makes a difference when you're, like, immersed in it, instead of just looking at it on the screen. Oh, totally. Like, there's this weird thing where, like, the, the uh, resolution in the HMD is a little rough, so, like, I basically cannot see the, the, read the road signs until we're right up on top of them. Like I can, I can tell that like, oh, that, it's almost like driving with my glasses off, right? But a little bit better than my actual natural vision. Um, but like having everything in here, having things in your periphery, having, you know, nothing to, to ground you. Like, like, like I said, uh, on the last trip when I was going uh, through that tunnel and all the lights were just like, passing over me in waves it was hurting my eyes because it was light dark light dark I did not have anything else like uh, even 
even if you're, you know, watching a big screen TV at night, like you still have the thing of like, oh yeah, this is lighting the room, but the rest of the room is dark. This is just like, no, whatever the light or dark is, that's just everything. And like, like color hues and it's just kind of great, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm psyched to be in here right now. That's the thing. I wish I would pick the comfier chair to sit in. There are two chairs over here. I picked the less comfy one. I don't know why the game runs kind of lurchy like this every now and then. But you notice it's just the cars on the road. The No, the windshield wipers too. But it's not the whole computer because my head is still turning calmly or, or smoothly. So like the computer is, the graphics are being rendered at a good frame rate, but the physics is being calculated at a slower frame rate every now and then. That's so weird. I wonder if that's when it's like loading new geometry, actually, that would make some sense. dog I can go faster watch me lean watch me get my trucker lean on hey turn turn more See, now next week I do the same thing with F0GX. Make everyone sick, including me. I look forward to it. Also, if you notice, I did take that, like, prototype, uh, stream frame design, and I just went ahead and used it. Uh, and well, it already had the grid lines on it, felt kind of digital, and I needed something to show that today was different, I guess. Actually, to, to set everything up, because this is actually, tonight's stream is a two-computer situation? Um, let me tell you. Oh boy. Um, but like, I also just wanted to start with a brand new scene in OBS, so that way it was empty and I wasn't like taking an existing scene and stripping it down and adding in what I needed and just confusing myself. Just like, nope, start from scratch, we'll go from there. Um, <clears throat> and really, the hardest thing was just getting the audio balance, which is why we had to do that uh, 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 in the pre-roll, if you will. And believe me, I shall. What does this sign say? No arrow, so I don't think it's turn off. This is just marking the road. Okay. Well, these are these are going to be some some turn off markers. Over here? I want to get off here? I do. Oh, 
Oh, that's not a real off ramp. Oh, airplane. Uh, all right, let me get off. Oh, I think we're actually just getting off. Okay. And honestly, doing this without the the GPS is kind of cool. Everything is way more of a surprise. Which is really what you want when you're driving. It's just tons of surprises, you know. Especially driving something this big and and not complex, but uh, I want to say obtuse, but that's not the right word either. <clears throat> oh, we're not going to Dortmund today. Hi, my name is Dortmund Mandark, and here is my town. Uh. Uh oh, none of those were the names of the town we're going to. Uh oh, did I goof? Oh, did that. Yeah. Yes? Frankfurt. Now it just says Frankfurt, not Frankfurt, Amen. Uh, did I goof or is this the right way? Uh oh. I mean, is it still. Is it the same Frankfurt? How would I know? Could I just bring up the GPS? Yes. Am I going to? Nah, this is more fun. I know this is all highways, but I kind of like just having a whole lot of highways. Um, and I kind of wish, like, I kind of wish I could just drive these roads, but in um, beam, because then I would have all of the other cars to, to play with and drive with and be a little more aggressive and it's a physics are a little more keen on things like you know drifting um but the other thing i've been thinking about is the shitoku uh revival project which is a mod for Assetto corsa that recreates a large swath of actual um I think these are both Frankfurt, so I'm getting off here. No, uh, this is off fart. Frankfurt, um, min. What? The thing popped up that said Frankfurt, um, main discovered. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, I should check which of these I'm actually going to then. You're here, basically. Yes! Oh, can you see stuff that I can't? No. It's gotta be up here on the left. Wow, I kinda can't believe I got this close. Without the GPS. I'm kind of impressed with myself. That may be a silly thing to be, but okay. I was completely expecting to like miss a turn and get lost and, and struggle, but okay. Where do you need it? Um, yeah, I don't know if I own a copy of Assetto Corsa, but um, you know, if it goes on sale or something, I would absolutely just do this, do some very specifically like real Japan highway cruising. That sounds like a real fun time, honestly. Ugh.
Oh no, I hit the button that said finish for me. Ow. Oh. <sighs> it's okay, we know you could do it. I was right there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, uh, let's see here. We're after midnight. We are after midnight. Uh, and honestly, my back hurts. So I think we're going to call it for tonight. Um, I hope you all had a good time. I had a pretty good time. Next time I will pick the comfy chair to sit in while I cruise. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this. Um, I'm starting to think, as much as I like the, the late night driving, I don't know if I need to, like, branch out into other games or make it a challenge or, or what to do with it before it's really going to lose its sheen as, like, a series of, like, a, a repeating thing. Honestly, I could, um just make saturday's build nights for a while i definitely have some some stuff already uh added to the backlog and i think more due to come in um so you know uh let me know if you have thoughts on that let me know on twitter or whatever um and yeah i still got a couple more things i want to do in terms of driving and i like late night driving but uh we'll see uh We'll see how that goes. For now, uh, we're going to call this a night. And uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope uh, I didn't make anybody particularly sick. No. Good night. Um, now, you need to go over to my computer and change to the scene marked outro. And then you're going to hit Control-Alt-2.